Well, it's all kicking off in the UK, ladies and gentlemen, as we all knew it would, right? We've been saying for a couple of months now, unless the UK kind of prepares for some sort of gender debate controversy, it's going to take them by surprise as it has. It's kind of like when you cook pasta, right? We all think we're experts. We don't really pay attention to it. We turn our heads and focus on something else. Oh, what's that over there? And then suddenly the water just boils over and it's a complete mess and loads of people end up getting burnt. It started off with Nicola Sturgeon's gender reform bill that was blocked by the UK government because they had valid concerns, as we all did, right? We all had valid concerns, obviously. That upset the progressive left and Sturgeon Stooges as well because everybody in those groups just wanted short-term happiness for potential long-term pain. And all the valid concerns that we had, we were told they're not true. That's all bogus. You're all bigots. Oh, look, one of the concerns we had almost just came to fruition. It's funny how these things just work, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? A transgender woman that goes by the name of Isla Bryson, I believe she's called, has been convicted on two accounts of the R word in 2016 and 2019. However, the catch is, when they committed these crimes, they hadn't actually transitioned and were known as Adam Graham. Now, I'm just speaking how the news articles are speaking, okay, because they don't really know how to navigate through this whole situation. They don't really know how to word it. We all know this is a biological male we're gonna follow the science as the left always tell us to do right follow the science okay we'll follow the science biological science oh wait no it doesn't count in these situations does it adam graham committed these crimes 2016 2019 two r word crimes he then changes his gender a load of people would love to know why he felt compelled to change his gender after those two incidences right very valid questions i know we're scared to ask the questions but i think we need to start asking them yeah but that's not the end of it. The whole controversy is Scotland, because they found themselves in this whole culture war, which they brought on themselves and by proxy have dragged the whole of the UK into it. Originally, they were going to put this man in a woman's prison. Actually, he was remanded originally in a woman's prison. Um, wait, what? This is what I mean. When I say these people, these politicians, as much as they say, oh, we love women's safety, we want to protect women, they don't actually care. Because this move didn't make any sense. You are putting a dangerous man with a group of women who could harm them. He is physically stronger. He would overpower them. Oh, no inclusion, progression and all that. I forgot. That, that Women's safety then goes out the window when we talk about these sort of situations, right? Anyway, due to all the backlash, all the controversy, Nicola Sturgeon has backtracked and has now changed her decision because he will be moved into a male prison where he should have been originally. Isla Bryson was remanded to Quantum Vale Women's Prison in Stirling after being convicted of the R words when she was a man called Adam Graham. She has since been moved to HMP Edinburgh. Bryson decided to transition from a man to a woman while awaiting trial, but she was taken to a male wing of HMP Edinburgh on Thursday afternoon. It came after First Minister Nicholas Sturgeon announced that Bryson now would not be allowed to serve her sentence at Quantum Vale. So thankfully, Common sense prevails. It feels like common sense hasn't won a battle in a very long time, right? I, I didn't think it existed, so thank the Lord for showing me it still does. But this is what happens when people in society are determined to remove common sense from it, right? You get situations like this. Here is Nicola Sturgeon herself announcing that Adam Graham, Isla Bryson, will be moved from a woman's prison into a male prison. I heard the Chief Executive of Crisis Scotland say this yesterday, I don't see how it's possible to have a within a female prison. And so let me be very clear. I agree with that statement. And bearing in mind what I've just said about the importance of individualised risk assessment as a general principle and presumption, I think that statement is correct. Now, it would not be appropriate for me in respect of any prisoner to give details of where they are being incarcerated. But given the understandable public and parliamentary concern in this case, I can confirm to Parliament that this prisoner will not be incarcerated at Quantum Vale Women's Prison. So can I ask the First Minister, above asking where he currently is, was there any, any ministerial involvement in the decision to send this rapist to a women's prison? And before that 72 hours expire tomorrow, Will the First Minister personally intervene and remove this double rapist from Corton Vale? First Minister. I, 
I think I'd repeat some of what I've already said, but let me be, let me be clear. This prisoner is not going to be incarcerated in Corton Vale, either short term or long term. Now, whilst I'm extremely happy about this, right, I think we should all be happy. The women in the prison are no longer in potential danger. Common sense has won. You know, putting, putting a man in a women's prison who has harmed women in the past just doesn't make any sense. However, there is news now breaking that allegedly this crime get this, won't be recorded as a crime committed by a male. UK1 sent out this tweet saying with a video attached to it, Isla Bryson's offences will not be recorded in the official crime statistics as offences perpetrated by a man. Police Scotland have confirmed tonight that Isla Bryson's offences will not be recorded in the official crime statistics as offences perpetrated by a man. This is extremely insane and I don't really know what to say. What I do want to say is if you can hear the hoover next door, I do really apologise about that. But firstly, they wanted to put this man in a woman's prison who has harmed women in the past. They then, due to all of that clash, are now putting him into a male's prison but we're still supposed to pretend this was a crime not committed by a man. Do they even know what they're doing at this point? There are so many people I feel so sorry for in this situation, right? Because it just lacks so much leadership, so much direction. It makes me honestly just want to turn off the camera right now, find a job in government and make some change because the people running it at this point are just so incompetent. But trans people will be affected by this, the ones that don't want to get involved in politics, the ones that just want to live their lives and understand boundaries, right? It will affect them because everybody will view them as the same. And then you've got to think about the women who are actually affected in this situation by this man in 2016 and 2019 because these acts just show you that the Scottish government, the Scottish police don't actually care because why would you then put a man in a prison full of women where he could harm them again? right? They're completely discrediting the original crimes. Because everybody knows that could happen. But somebody thought, oh, now this is a great idea. Somebody needs to be fired, if I'm honest. And you're really going to sit there and tell me this won't happen again? It's, it's only January, for crying out loud. <laughs> but this is the UK right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are all fascinated by this. Please can we get a sense of direction back, okay? Just don't bow, don't bow down to woke agendas, progressiveness. Just use the thing on your shoulders. Yeah, use your brain. But what is your opinion, ladies and gentlemen, on this whole situation? Are you shocked by it? I'm pretty sure some Americans have found out about this. I've had a few comments left by people talking about it, which just shows you how big the situation actually is. I would love to hear your opinions down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. I'm out. Peace.